We're back again on the Well of Inspiration this week with, as always, some more motivational content for you. We've linked up with Wellington. He is the founder and he is a motivational speaker for the Well of Inspiration. His content has touched so many different people in so many different ways. And we're hoping that the content that you see here and that you get from this episode will actually help you take yourself, your life, your personal life, your professional life to the next level of success. Wellington, hi. Hi, Don. How are you doing? Don is good, Don is good. How about Wellington? Wellington is not complaining at all. As always, as always. Wellington, welcome back for another episode <laughs> of the Well of Inspiration. And I think our viewers are itching to know what you have in store. Thank you for having me, Don. I'm really glad to be back with, uh, with you guys. And uh, look, let's have another conversation. I think the idea here is to simply share with uh, our viewers information, ideas and strategies that are designed to help them to take their lives, their businesses, their careers, their relationships, and even their finances to the next level of success. And today, I just, I just want to say it uh, this way, Don. You know, a lot of us are going through life looking for excuses. We are going through life looking for people to blame for the circumstances we find ourselves in. Sometimes we spend time not taking responsibility for where we find our lives to be at any particular time. But what we don't realize is that time is ticking. Every single day that comes, time is ticking. And when time ticks, it ticks never to come back again. Every second that we lose is a second that comes once and is never recovered. I saw a saying the other day by uh, Steve Jobs. I think we all know Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs says, my favorite things in life don't cost any money. It is really clear that the most important thing we all have as individuals is time. Now, when you look at someone who achieved as much phenomenal success as uh, Steve Jobs did, when he looked at his life, and he was counting the important things, he recognized that time was one of the most important things in our lives. You know what, my friends? I don't know about you. Wherever you are, whatever you're dealing with right now, whatever circumstances you find yourself in, one thing that you, my friend, have to remember is that time is not only on your side. The time you have now is only available to you now. Take advantage of the opportunities coming your way during the lifetime of those opportunities because opportunities come with a time stamp on them and sometimes the time lapses and goes and you never get to see that opportunity again. Time is not on your side. Such true words, such true words, Wellington. And like you say, you know, that opportunity that's knocking on your door now, take it. It might not come back tomorrow, take it. You know, and I think, like you said, when you began, don't, you know, don't blame people for the decisions or for the place you find yourself. Take that responsibility. That time, once it ticks, it's never coming back. Absolutely. They say that the, the, the most important thing we can do in a day is to seize the day. Because at some point, we have to let it go. You know, we just have to let it go. You know, Harvey McKay, Harvey McKay once said, time is free but it is priceless. He says, you can't own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. And once you've lost it, you can never get it back. That's time in a nutshell, right? That's a, an apt description of time. Which is why I, when I look at my own background, I think of time as a depreciating asset. It is an asset that we all have, but an asset that keeps diminishing in value with every day that passes. When you were 10 years old, one year was 10% of your life. 
But when you're 20 years old, one year becomes 5%. And as you grow older, one year becomes less significant, less significant in your life as you grow older because time is a depreciating asset. Every day that comes, every year that comes, it comes and goes, and when it goes, it goes for good. That's why I say time is a depreciating asset, my friend. I encourage you to look at your circumstances, look at your life, look at the things that you want to do, look at your aspirations, your goals and your dreams. What are you doing about them today? Look at the day that just passed. Did you do everything you intended to do in that day? If you didn't, today is the opportunity for you to harness whatever time you have and use it for the goals and your dreams that you have in your mind. Because my friend, time is indeed a depreciating asset. Wellington, this is just great. I like the way you say that it's a depreciating asset because it really is. And, and it's the same for everyone. We're all in that same boat. Time depreciates for all of us. We have a limited time on this planet to do different things that we want to push. And the time is now. You begin now. Don't wait for tomorrow. If you want to do something, start now. Push yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, each one of us every single day is given the same amount of time. 86,400 seconds is the gift that we get every single day. 1,440 minutes a day. It is up to you what you're going to do with this time. This gift that you're given every day. It's like a bank account where you're given the money every morning and you have to use it fruitfully for the day. If you don't use it, it is taken away from you at the end of the day. That is the nature of time. So with every day that passes, with every hour that passes, every week, every month, every year, the time comes and it never returns. I think that is a thought for you to think about as we go on this break. With every single day, with every single month, time goes by, you never get it back. Think about that for a moment and we'll be back with a well of inspiration. We sometimes walk through life thinking that we have all the time in the world, that we have time to do this and time to do that and time for different things. When we look at today and we say, okay, I'll wait till tomorrow and you know, do it tomorrow. But time is not on your side. Wellington has made it so clear in this episode that time is not on your side. Take the opportunities now. Don't wait for tomorrow. Do what you need to do now. Push yourself now. Look at where your life is. Look at what, where your dreams are standing. Do you want to see them progress? Do you want to see those dreams come into reality? Because if you do, this is the time. Don't wait. Time waits for no one. And once you've lost that minute, that second, it is never coming back. He's talked about time being a depreciating asset. It depreciates. The older you get, the less time you have. It's, it's obvious for every one of us that as we grow, the less time we have in our lives. What are you doing with your time? Are you putting it into good use? Are you doing the things that you need to do? Or are you wasting your time? Wellington. You know what, with what has happened with the COVID pandemic and the different situations we find ourselves in right now, the wars and the famines and the droughts and the disasters, people dying every single day. I hope that we have come to realize how valuable our time is. I often come across people who refuse to entertain other human beings when they approach them for help, for a conversation, for just a chat, or even just to reach out to them to check how they are. People come to you, a child comes to you asking for you to help with their homework, and you tell them you're busy. While on the, on the other hand, you're busy on social media, spending time chatting with friends. My question to you is, how, what value do you place on your time? 
Do you spend time doing the things that add value to your life, that really add value to your life? Or do you spend your time doing things that don't add value to your life? Do you take away from your relationships by spending the time doing things that are bad habits, that take you away from your people and you spend that time doing other things? How valuable is your time? When you're supposed to be working on your business plan, what do you spend the time doing? When you wake up in the morning, what do you spend your first hour doing? When you get into your office for work, what do you spend the time doing? How valuable is your time really? How much contribution are you making to your own goals and to your own dreams in a day? How much contribution are you making to your family? How much contribution are you really making to your employer if you are employed? Or how much contribution are you making to your business if you're running a business? Don't spend the time just having fun and forgetting that there is value to be added. There's people's lives to be changed. There's families to be fed based on the work you are doing. Recognize the value of your time and spend your time. Give your time value. It is you who gives your time value depending on the things you spend your time doing. How valuable is your time? Wellington, I think these questions that you're putting forward are so deep. These are the questions that we really need to sit and ask ourselves and be very truthful as an individual to yourself. How are you spending that time? What value are you placing on your time? And I think the one thing that we, we know is we spend a lot of time on social media. We spend a lot of time doing little things that we, we really, it, it adds no value to our lives. And we take away from the different people's people in our lives that need that time that we're investing in something that really has no value to us. And we need to take that time and invest into them and help them as well and see them as well because that brings the value into your time. Absolutely. You know what? Somebody once said that I recommend that you take care of the minutes and the hours will take care of themselves. It is in the little minute moments where you add value. Those little moments translate into bigger moments because value compounds. When you make a difference in a person's life, if you do it often enough using the time that you have, that value compounds. But I often hear people who think that it's too late for them. Maybe you've used your time unwisely for so long and at a certain stage in your life you think that you no longer have the opportunities that you once had. My friends, let me remind you, life is so versatile and so dynamic that it is never too late for you to harness whatever opportunities are coming your way in this day and age. Take those opportunities today and use them. Don't run with the excuse that says, oh no, I'm too old, or it's too late, or I didn't do this yesterday, then I might as well forget about it. No, my friends. Whatever you were supposed to do yesterday, if it did not happen, the fact that you woke up today to see another day means you've been given another opportunity to get another crack at life and trying to do whatever you set your heart to achieve. It is never too late. Don't think that because you didn't call the person you were supposed to call yesterday, that you can't do it today. You can, but don't leave it until tomorrow, for tomorrow is not promised. The time that we have is today, and we've got to make the most of the time that we're given today. Wellington, I love this. And I think, you know, the way you're saying it's never too late. The one thing that is so constant within our lives is change. You can change, you can grow. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can start today to make tomorrow better. Like you say, we're not promised tomorrow. So why not begin today? Why not say at least for this day, I can try and push. So tomorrow, if you actually wake up and have another day, you know you began the process and you can continue with those steps. Of course. And you know, when it comes to harnessing time, it's also about making sure you are living your life fully. 
okay? Experience something new today. Do something you've never done before. Today, don't wait until tomorrow. Read a book you've never read before. Go down a road you've never gone down before. Speak to someone you've never spoken to before. Learn something you've never learned before, but do it today. Harness the time that you have today. When you do this and you do it every day, you see that you compound your usage of time and continue to add value to yourself, value to other people, and living a more fulfilling, a more fulfilled life. This is the power of harnessing time, recognizing its, its importance, adding value to your time, and understanding the time is not on your side. You better do the most with the time that you have today. Absolutely. And if you have a question for Wellington on this subject where we're talking about, you know, time is not on your side. If you have a question, if you've reached a certain age and you feel that, you know, I can't do anything more than I've done and you want somebody to reach out to you and help you, give you that helping hand, please place your comments below. You can also get in touch with Wellington on his website. That's uh, www.thewellofinspiration.com. He's got a Facebook page, Well of Inspiration, as well as Instagram. Reach out if you're that person who needs to know that you know you can do something with your life at this point in time and take that time and make it something worthwhile. Wellington, before we wrap up today on the subject, what are your final words for our viewers? You know what, I just want to re reiterate what I said before, that guys, time is not on our side. Time is a depreciating asset. The minutes we have today will be gone and we'll never get them back. Leave your mark, make your mark today. Use the days that you are given to do the best that you can do. Bring your A game to every day. Don't say, I'll bring my B game today and then I'll try again tomorrow. No, do the best you can today with the time that you have. But most importantly, continue to make a difference to yourself. Invest in yourself. Invest time in yourself. Invest in your family. Invest in your relationships and continue to grow as an individual read books, study, empower yourself, and encourage yourself to continue to do good for yourself and for other people. Wellington, thank you so much for today's episode. Time is not on your side. And if you're watching us today, know that time is not on your side. It's time to start now. Not tomorrow, mm -hmm. but now. Absolutely. <laughs> but today. Absolutely. Don't forget to share, like, and, you know, um, be a part of this journey with us on the Well of Inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to take a look at what Wellington has on his website, on Facebook, and reach out to us. We are here, and that is why we're doing these videos, for you to get more information to help you here in Africa and wherever else you may be on the planet and inspire you and hopefully help you be able to take yourself and those around you and elevate them to a better and a higher level. Wellington, thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you, Don. It's been a pleasure being here, and I wish you a tremendous week. And I wish you a tremendous week ahead as well. I'll see you next week, same time. Thank you so much. Have a great one. And you.